What's up guys, Shams11 and welcome back to Minecraft on the good old Xbox One. This is the Greek Mythology mashup pack which is brand new and available now. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm, I wasn't going to do a video at all on this mashup pack because they're pretty much all sort of variations of the same thing. It's obviously the new uh, texture on the blocks and then you go to the different ones, for example the Halo one and you kind of see oh there's a vehicle, there's a building I can sort of go into, there's another vehicle, then you, you go around a bit and you, you see the odd thing here and there and, and that's about it. But for this one I've heard on Twitter, now whether this is true or not, I've heard that the dev team themselves have placed all these blocks that have created this world uh, them, you know, they're very, very cells rather than just um, kind of using a great big editor. And what we've actually created is an entire city or sort of two, three towns almost. Um, so we start off on a, on a little boat and then we, we head into the first world and then um, first town, sorry. And then if we head over this way, I love these textures as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Really liking the way these uh, lamps look. <laughs> Even the cactus looks kind of cool. Um, out in the bay in the distance here, we have this amazing galleon, which has kind of blown my mind. Um, and it, it is awesome. I, I don't know if you've if you've ever had the chance to see any of my other Minecraft videos. Um, I'll put this in a playlist so you can go back and have a look. Um, I have built myself a pirate ship. And what I like that reminds me of this is, uh, obviously this is a longer version, but uh, I also had the idea of storing supplies down underneath the pirate ship. So um, this is pretty cool. If we just break through here. Sorry to destroy your world, 4J. Um, and we head over, let's head back this way. Uh, what I like here is that originally I thought this was just a ravine cutting through, but... Um, it's actually cut into the cliffs so rather than being a massive hole you've got this fantastic kind of Olympic torch looking entrance way there's a little sailboat um, I just love the way this ravine cuts in it's a fantastic way to you don't crash into the wall too hard uh, enter into this part and we've got these amazing temples with these cool statues inside Again, I started having a little look around. Um, with all of the tutorial worlds, there are uh, discs, music discs, that you can collect. And part of the challenge is to collect all of them. So um, I didn't want to really take that away uh, from people. I, I don't want to stop you guys coming to take a look. love this amphitheater outside. Even this flooring um, just looks really cool. I think it does. Um, so I'm just going to take a quick look around at everything. I'm not going to explore everywhere, every nook and cranny, because I want you guys to come and play this and experience it for yourself, because it's an utterly amazing world. Look how huge this is. This statue's even got toes. I love the fact it then opens up into this fantastic marina. We've got the big house up on the hill. Uh, but we can't ignore this Spartan protecting. Let's head up here. So big, the scope of this world is huge. I mean, I'm in creative, I'm flying as quick as you can go. The detail on the face is absolutely superb. Love the fact that the torch is even lit. I waited for a while as well before recording, as I, I was desperate to get a photo without a cloud of uh, uh, cutting through the middle of the Spartan, but uh, sadly, it was just taking too long. And then if we head over to this area, at first I had no idea what these kind of weird block spirals were. I just assumed it was some sort of ruin until I hopped down here and realised it's a very angry Medusa and her amazing serpentine hair, which is just absolutely brilliant. Another nice little feature with this map pack is, is the vines have grapes hanging off, which again is just a really small touch, but I think it's absolutely fantastic. The main thing I like about this is, is being a, um, playing kind of solo on Minecraft. I've built, I have my creative world where I've built certain things. Love this helix staircase, it's superb. Um, again, this is an area I don't want to explore. You, you guys can look at this at your own kind of leisure. Um, but I've created kind of individual buildings um, 
I, I've got kind of my football stadium, I've got the lighthouse, I've got the windmill, this, that and the other, but I've never really built a city. And this really shows you how you can link the buildings together really nicely. I um, thought this was just a statue of a horse at first, but then I realised what it was. It is, it's of course the Trojan horse, um, and of course the city they were trying to get into, which is fantastic. Love the horse on the roof as a guard. Um, and what's nice in here, the instruments on the wall, and these music blocks are absolutely fantastic. They look really cool. And all the donkeys and the horses. Uh, these doors are wicked. I really like these doors. Looks really nice in this texture pack. And the little stables below. And then what's nice is as we kind of head through this terrain, just looming up through the clouds, this amazing huge structure. I'm assuming this is quite Mount Olympus here, it certainly looks it to me. These fantastic statues just guarding the corners, lighting the way. And if we cut through, of course you guys please do explore this, do take the staircases and the proper pathways. Uh, but this is a fantastic touch, love this sort of world map. And the throne as we look out. Uh, but just to give you an idea of how huge this is, look at that. It's even struggling to keep the ground in focus. It's all misting up. Um, but yeah, of course, this did come with various other things. Uh, it wasn't just the Greek mythology pack. Um, there was a huge changelog um, sorting out a few various bugs and problems. Um, we've also got the um, acacia and dark oak wood. Um, with their various wood planks, fence, fence gates, doors, slabs and stairs added as well. If we head over this way past yet more of these fantastic buildings, um, we find this enormous maze and what's really brilliant about this is we see the giant cut into the small here, the giant minotaur or minotaur's head. Of course, being a moron, I realised I couldn't get through this door. And there's the switch. So if you make it through the maze, you've always got a quick escape. Um, but we have this dark, windy path. This is awesome. Love this. Looks really good, this jack-o'-lantern. A little friend by the sound of it. There he is. Um, and if we just cut a little bit further... It's going to cut a little bit there. Okay, so um, we've got the heart of the maze, and there he is, <laughs> guarding the chest. And what is in this chest? A very special treat. Uh, that's obviously my map, and there is a music disc. Really nice, um, a fantastic tutorial world, great place to, to explore, have a look, trying to find all those discs as always. Um, so if I find a, a little spot to kind of park up, um, I love this boat, I love the way this, this kind of port is in between his legs, uh, with this fantastic gardens and huge house at the top. Um, so if we take a, a little sit down in this port and I'll, I'll quickly just bring up some of the new blocks I was just talking about. Of course I'm just going to press the wrong buttons a few times as always. Um, so yeah obviously with all the texture packs all the blocks look ever so slightly different um, but here we go this is what I was mentioning let's have those two so there's the new that's the acacia and the dark oak the planks which I like I like the fact that rather than just different colours, they're actually you know, different designs on the, the ends of the wood as well. Uh, I wanted fence, but there we go, fence gates are close enough. Uh, and of course the new doors, which look pretty awesome. I like those doors very much. So there we go. All the new things you can see and do. Um, obviously there's, there's many more. Let's take a quick look through uh, all the different blocks. all looking pretty unique I um, absolutely love the the stained glass that we got in the last the previous update everything here these all look very cool all the different foods 
Um, the armor and weapons, um, we'll chuck some of those on, actually. Um, what I like about the armor and weapons is just how different they all look. Um, before, it was just exactly the same with just a little bit different color. Um, but now they're actually, you know, completely different designs, which is wicked. So um, I'll chuck some of this on. Uh, let's pop that there. Let's have a sword as well. There we go. So yeah, um, guys, I highly recommend this. Um, at least give it a try. Um, you will always get a, a, the option to play the trial. Um, you cannot, of course, save during the trial. You have to purchase. But um, I, I highly recommend it. I actually think it's a, a, a gorgeous pack. It's available now on the Xbox One Marketplace. It's also available on 360, PS4 and PS3 for all of you that have got multiple formats. Um, if you like this video, please do leave me a comment. If you like this mashup pack, leave me a comment as well. Come follow me on Twitter at Shams11. Thank you ever so much for watching. Till next time.